four years and it's already gone. Didn't even hit me really till today. One more game and then hanging up the pads. That's a weird thing. Yeah, it's crazy how far we've come. We went from my first year being intense to my second year being in an unfinished locker room and then third year finally actually having a locker room. And then just seeing how the team's motive has changed throughout the throughout the course of the years that I've been here has just been insane. That team, the year before they went eight and two, and it was our first year in D3 was 2014, and, and then we went one and nine. And that year there was so much contention, nobody trusted the coaching staff, offense, defense hated each other, but there wasn't nearly the the culture, it never felt like we were working towards something that year. And I think that's the difference between last year and, and this year and back then is that I feel like we're working towards something. With the new coaching staff, they had like this goal of changing the program. They had this vision of like being a championship team. And I remember everyone was bought into that. There's a significant difference from now to, you know, four years ago where, you know, people actually think we can win rather than before nobody thought we could win. Uh, any games. The attitude and the morality of the team has just has gotten so much better. Whether we win or lose, we always still go into the next week thinking we can win. And that's just a big change from you know when I was first here. About building a program and building a culture, the freshmen haven't been able to see the work that we put in in the off season. That's really where it all was. Four to five days a week in the off season. Um, you know, working on our routes, working on our hands, working on all that kind of stuff. So to the young guys, like, I know it's, sometimes it might seem annoying to wake up when it's cold outside and go walk to the gym at six in the morning, but every lift you do can translate to the field. Just knowing that people rely on me to do my job. Football is the ultimate team sport. You can't win it by yourself. You can't win a game by yourself. What helps me a lot is I think of, you know, my brothers behind me. QB Davis, Kiva, those, that's what helps me because if I don't block my guy, then those guys are getting smacked. So I think that's what helps me definitely is playing for your brothers behind you. When times get tough, when it's hard and you want to quit, just looking to the left of you and the right of you and seeing your brothers with you and knowing that they're fighting with you too and that you're not out there alone. That's really what football is about. You, you create these relationships, you create this strong bond because you're fighting with each other day in and day out. You're going through struggles together. It's a weird thing because you don't know each other until you get here and all of a sudden you play football and you just get this kind of a cliche thing like the brotherhood, but it's like legit. It's been an honor to share the field with my brothers each year and to be able to play this game that we love. It's been a journey. I've enjoyed it. Coming here is the best decision I've made in my life, I think. My mission was the first best decision that I made in my life. Second best decision was to come here and play football at SVU. If you stick around and choose the right group of friends, you can make this experience one of the best that you have in your life. I come in my first year here like three years ago and it felt like it was yesterday so just make the best of it while you can and stay with it and have fun. Being loyal to the program, being loyal to the process, trusting it, trusting the, the coaching and you know knowing that we're building something. I know it's still in the process of being changed around but I think we've we're finally starting to actually build the building blocks to getting to a higher level. There's some special building you just gotta be patient like it's gonna come. This team can go and win. Uh, I think that's that's the difference, and I think I felt that more this year than any other year too. Is that that we can compete and we, you know, have worked hard enough that we deserve to win. You know. We have a great opportunity facing our friends this week. We have the opportunity to end the season with a win, end my career with a win. And I think that'll be the biggest gift 
for our great senior classes to be able to leave leave this campus with a win this year. For the guys in the future, just thinking of how using this momentum from a win, it'll build in the next year. If we can put a full game together, offense and defense, there's no way we lose the game. During the battle, you know, when everything's happening so fast, sometimes your mind, you know, messes up every now and then and it causes a mistake. And when that happens, we just have to be able to realize that that's okay. And that's the wonderful thing about football is there's another down to be played. You know, you, you did poorly on one down, you, you can always come back and, and kill it on the next down. And just having the confidence that we can do it, when you go out there with some swagger and just start having fun, everything changes, man. When we do that, we're, we're unstoppable.